Hello, it's surprising to see a game that ends by 82 moves, but it seems Black wasn't confident to fight more, seeing the top and the bottom territory uh, on white. But in the middle, there are still some vulnerable groups to attack, like this one, and a few stones on the right, so Black, Black could fight more. Anyway, let's check it out. So, a normal start with a parallel Fuseki. White is going extremely territorial with the C3. Black attacks, so far so good. The basic Joseki. Uh, before attacking here, White should consider the approach in the top because it's coming from the direction of uh, F17. And usually Black will just play a Kosumi in order to prevent the uh, pressure. And then White can also attack the lower right corner. It's also possible to play the far approach in this case. This kind of Joseki, it's playable, but it's an old school follow up. <laughs> anyway, nothing wrong to play R5 directly, that's a fine move too. Mm, unusual to block at S4. Black can consider the kick at R4. This is very popular nowadays. So White will extend for a base and finish the Joseki Ngote. And in this case, Black has time to make a Shimari in the top right corner. This would keep things simple. Yeah, usually after the push, uh, White has to turn. But why can't think about Tenuki right away. So still attack the top right corner, high or low. And on the bottom side, uh, there are moves like pressure at p4 immediately because if something like this happens we can consider the move on the third line where black answered on the second line as a kikashi or a 4c move so white can uh, make a wall <coughs> and then extend all the way to r10 anyway push okay and turn then black connected. Connecting here it's a bit uh, slow. Black should extend to space jump to make a base. Because if white simply captures a stone in the corner, there's a lot of effort for white here to catch one stone. Anyway, white group will leave. So black connects, white extends for a base. In this case it's better to extend all the way to R9. 3 space jump and on the third line. Playing just two space jump feels a little bit over concentrated. And playing high in this case, uh, black can approach all the way to R10. And when this happens, normally black uh, white needs another move to protect. Either a kick, or a double up, or a kema. The thing is, if white doesn't play anything, black is very happy to slide and remove the base for this group. So if white spends another move to defend at R8, then White invested two stones instead of one, which is low. I mean playing directly R8 or R9, when black approaches, white doesn't need to double up with Q8. The shape is already fine, so white can play a big point. Now black approach on that side, but not all the way to R10, so this R11 doesn't affect the group so much. Well, normally white still owes a move here to keep the base safe, but in this case white can play away. So that's a good, very good decision to prevent the top right Shimari. Hmm, the bump, that's a rare move. Usually here for black is good enough to play a Kema, because the stones here connect very nice and they start to build the territory on the side. So white will continue with the attach in the corner, pull back, black can go down, because he already got the stone at R11. And white has to extend for a base. And now black is center, so black can slide here attacking this group and come out on the bottom side to build actively. <coughs> so when this bump is played, white can go up or down. In this case, white went down. Uh, no be up, it's also fine. And black will go for the corner. But then white can think about the invasion on the right side. Anyway, choosing to, to play at P17 is territorial and it's absolutely fine. The Kema looks a bit strange here, 
So for black to secure the right side would be the jump at Q14 or Han and Nobi. The thing is, uh, playing Kema here, the relationship between P14 and R11 is not so great as white can uh, think about uh, moves like Q12 or Q13 to uh, separate those stones. So even if he doesn't have to, to be played right away, when white plays here, it's difficult for black to keep everything connected. So if this happens, the stone in the center is going to be floating now. And if black plays a nice shape like this, white can go down and separate the stone on the side. So either way, it's profitable for white. Yeah, for now, it's very good to take the extension in the top. Also, I can think about the bump. But in this case, black will pull back and then the shape starts to look good on the right side. But still, white got a lot in the top. So overall, this result is good for white. So I got the big point and black is trying to protect uh, the holes at Q12, Q13. But in fact, for black, it's still better to look for a slide in order to remove the base. So normally here, uh, white should jump out. Luckily, white can play a bump, but then black can even get ahead. And white is still on the run. Well, something, some kind of attack here will happen later in the game. We will get to that shortly. When playing this move, uh, white can simply R9. Now with R9, the base is safe and later on, let's say something like this is played. White can attach at S11. This is a follow up on the right side. When black blocks, white pulls back and creates a cutting point. So black needs to protect like this or like this. If black uh, cuts and captures one stone, now white separates the, the stone in the middle, so it's still okay. Giving up the bait at S11 in order to cut the stone in the center. This okay game is good. But white can also play uh, on the third line. Playing on the fourth line, black can always come all the way to H3 threatening the slide or the invasion so when this happens white will either double up or extend uh, on the left side but then black can just go back to develop the bottom area well black extending on the left which is also very big but the thing is if you look all over the board the the bottom side is bigger than the left side so when black plays here and white goes to the left or even like this uh, slide can happen still so black gets to control more of the bottom area than <coughs> uh, the left side so when playing this way why should just extend to k3 this is the more important and the, the last open space on the board then if black comes all the way to entry why should protect calm on the right side so in this opening white got a nice top side like half of the bottom, a solid group on the right, and Komi. And black has the lower right corner, uh, like half of the left side, and less than half side on the right. The game looks very balanced, but I'd say white has the first chance to, to win this one. Attaching, it's a bit too much here, and it's not really needed because white has other options in this uh, area. So for example, when this is played, uh, I can think about a reducing move of this kind, kind threatening to enter uh, on the left side at C10 or C12. So black usually protects at uh, D11 to keep the territory on the left side and prevent uh, C12 or C10. So now white can uh, put pressure with a shoulder hit at D8 and then attach D6. And in this case, uh, white is uh, expecting a wall in the middle and the extension at K3 is already in place. If black plays the, the wedge, Atari, and pull back. And again, this is uh, easy to sacrifice. Connect. Yeah, connect solid, it's safer. So, like this, 
white has all this kind of influence to build a box and enclose the, the bottom area on a large scale while black got very over concentrated on the left side <clears throat> so playing the attach right away uh, wasn't that great because it eliminates other options to reduce that area honey is good uh, black can also think about nobi in this case white will jump once but white has to come back and protect his stone somehow at least a kosumi here and black can still push and cut through but if this happens white will take back the stones and extend on the bottom even further because now he's stronger the thing is uh, when this happens black is center and he can extend on the bottom side so white is missing the key point the key point being the extension in the middle of the site which is uh, the the large point so attach maybe instead of going back with the nobby white can think about the block because it creates cutting points so here if black plays atari white connects there are two cuts to protect and black can either connect here or connect up and now of course white has the chance to uh, capture one stone but it's not so big right now and still extending k3 is the key move yeah something like that happened in the game but going l3 uh, leaves some invasion points this is one option for black to reduce or go all the way to h4 but in this case white probably doesn't care so much and makes another uh, extension for a base then fix the right side also so black extend is here instead of an attach uh, white can jump out to increase the bottom area or think about reducing the, the left side first a nice point would be uh, f13 because this one is threatening to enter c12 so black should protect either like this or like this and then peep e14 so these are two forcing moves and then why should increase the top area probably playing another jump here or at least one jump like this will prevent the the invasion points so now attach on the bottom block and go up normally pullback is good enough here because next white is threatening the hand at 05 so black will go up then white has time to protect the right side if black surrounds white attaches if black plays the kosumi white jumps out or just block but the block can be played later as well now when playing the nobi here black can bump then white needs to go up again black connected right away but the bump is better the, the cut is not a problem if white cuts here black has the ladder so nothing to worry about black should bump and keep center bump and then think about an evasion in the top for example that area becomes too big this move is soft now white is strong in the in the bottom area so to to build more should play either on the fourth line or even uh, a move like this because if black tries to come inside white can block anyway and black is not going to escape so everything dies inside and white builds more so when having a lot of uh, thickness should build territory with uh, moves on the higher lines fourth line fifth line but you gotta find moves that they connect pretty well so something like this is nice this feels uh, slack so black can still bump here or black can think about uh, shoulder hit and then attach in order to to separate the groups this way uh, white gets in danger on the right side so playing too conservative is not really great yeah this is a good move to take away the base uh, not so good to to play r9 in this case because the group is still heavy what white can think about its s9 and then cut sacrifice one stone to, to uh, make some eye shape then jump out anyway black is over concentrated on the right side 
So playing here, white, uh, black connects. Now this uh, kind of reducing move, it's a little bit desperate. Black should just bump. Because even if white goes out, the, the group on the right side is in trouble. So normally white should uh, continue with a push. Then honey creates some magic here. But white has to come back and protect his uh, eye shape. Now black has to get rid of the IG so white goes out with a jump or kema or cover just to connect his stones. So white uh, uh, black connected solid. Going out is good. This is strange. Black can uh, just protect by uh, making the shape. If white goes down, uh, black can jump between the groups. So now when white comes out here and he saves these stones, there's a big problem on the right side. So even if uh, black is losing this area, he can compensate killing the other stones. Now white went down, very good. Oh, this cut is too much. It's better to play the block, Hane. Black needs to connect and white connects. Now black will probably uh, be worried about his corner. So play some shape here. White comes out, black needs to protect the corner more. And then white should also run out with these guys. So in this case, black is separated and it doesn't have time to, to kill the right side anymore. But playing like this, uh, black can just extend and capture the stone. Now the way for white to use this dead stone is to extract once and attack it from the outside. Hane, ju just lose the two stones uh, to get some forcey moves on the outside. And then Keima. And now white should connect some of the, the bottom stones even if not all of them but in the end this is not too bad because black invests lots of stones to, to kill the right side uh, and white is quite safe in the middle so there's a lot of potential in the center next pushing here doesn't do much just takes away white liberties so yeah Connect solid is good. Instead of jumping, white can play a bit more uh, tricky. Game out like this. Because if, if black pushes and he takes away his liberties, when something like this happens, black should pay attention and get back and connect. If black tries to kill the center group, now white can come out and Atari and Atari again. So this will be a disaster. Total collapse. All right, so jump out. Black jumps out too. No, the edge here is still this, this, and try to to use the the shortage of liberties. So it's good for white to to remove the outside liberties with honey here. Because the, the plan is to connect the stones and also uh, take away the liberties so white can activate the IG of S10. Black will probably double Hane, then white can do the same. I mean Hane and white double Hane. Atari connect. On this Atari, white can Atari from behind. So black will probably protect, then white pulls back. And again, it's quite tricky in the middle with the liberties. So black has to come back and protect here, eventually. Playing this empty triangle doesn't do much. Well, black feared the IG. I mean, it was easy to notice uh, the idea of playing this, 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 Atari, Atari. So white it's all connected. So white play the peep, that's good. 
slide in the top. Well, actually, there is a little bit of edge in the top, so I can start with a peep here. And then still play moves to connect his center. Either like this, or Hane, or some Kema here. These stones on the right side are not very safe. Oh, the Kosumi is quite slack. For white is good, uh, for black is good to invade the top. So now push in the corner. That's a big move, but in the end game, right now, still bigger to play in the center, uh, in the top. I mean, and secure that area. In this case, white should just attach. That's a better shape. When two stones here and one extension, this is the right formation. So if black cuts, why can fight and go for the kill? There is no space for uh, black to build twice in the top. Any black cuts like this, white will capture faster still. No problem with this cut either. So, black dies inside. Attaching here can be risky. Well, black decided to capture one stone, but black can go down, then play Kosumi and uh, slide like this in order to make eye shape in the top. And now this can end up in a big semi. Who's gonna win it? Three liberties. Black wins this semi by one liberty. So that's a, a problem. Well, black was kind and just took a stone and give up the top side. And now white just connects and black realizes he doesn't have enough territory. Well done on this one. 